TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we've got a sea of red out there. You've got the Dow down 395 points. That's 1%, nearly 1% for the S&P, or 48 points. Same for the NASDAQ 100, 195 points there. Over 2% for the Russell, 47, 71 points for the uh, uh, semis. They're off 1.5%. Uh, Tranny's nearly 200, uh, two, uh, 287, nearly a 2% move there. You've got gold up 2 bucks. Silver's up uh, 50 cents out there. Lights we Crude is off 16 pennies. Natural gas is flat. 30 year treasury down one point and uh, 20 ticks. Print out 116.11 out there. Um, U.S. dollar index up uh, over 80, 883 ticks right now, trading out at 104.79. Uh, let's take a look at what all that might mean by looking at that nine panel market update chart. The ES Mini, what do we have? Really just a sideways consolidation. Price right now is trading below the bottom of that daily profile. Watch that 52.19 level at day's end. That's the bottom of the profile. If we take a look at spot volatility, it's still well above its 50-day exponential moving average. That's always, uh, you know, suggests any rug pulls we'd see moves to the downside like we did this morning. If we take a look at the NQ, the NQ made its way back to test its TD9 count bottom pattern out there. Yeah, it's got a TD9 count bottom. It's got a Rhodes momentum indicator top. It would need a close below 18.051.50 to negate that signal. So far, the low of the day was at 18.053. So watch at 18.051.50. If we get that, we could be looking at an A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. U.S. dollar index, look at the strength in that. Right now, it's trading above the top of its weekly profile into a prior swing area. So this could be an area of resistance up at the um, 104. 84 level. Gold is attempting to form a new profile. Top of that box is at 2384. 2372.50 happens to be uh, the uh, top of its TD9 count pattern. So right now what gold needs in order to break out needs to close above 2384.50. The support zone or the buy zone would be between 2262 and 2289. We won't have confirmation of this profile until tomorrow. So stay tuned tomorrow. You've got silver that is in, I believe it's in bar number nine today of a TD9 count pattern. It's got an A to B equals CD with its next price projection level being 2920. Lights recruit as a TD9 count top with price consolidating with inside its profile. It is pulled back to the buy zone. The buy zone for lights recruit is 8409 to 8480, with 8763 being its resistance level. Lights we've got lights recruit. Natural gas looked pretty killer this morning at about seven o'clock. Right now it's not looking it's like it, looking like it's getting killed out there. It needs really a close above 1.906 to tell you and I that it's ready to at least rally for a little bit of time. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you have to start your Wednesday, please have a wonderful one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.